In today's episode, it's called Birth of the Twin Cities, and we're looking at photographs that show the beginning of the cities of Alberni and Port Alberni. Uh, as most people know, Port Alberni used to be two cities, so Alberni is sort of the north, what we call North Port today. It was centered around uh, the Victoria Key area at the bottom of Johnson Road, and more of an agricultural settlement. New Alberni was on the south side of town and it was centered more around Harbour Quay at the bottom of Argyle Street. And they had lots of sawmills and the deep sea port and they were known more for industrial things. And to emphasize that they had a port, they renamed New Alberni to Port Alberni. Port Alberni incorporated formally as a city in 1912 and then Alberni followed in 1913 and that's how they became the Twin Cities, which they remained until 1967 when they amalgamated to become the city we're familiar with today. So what we're looking at in these photos is the early, sort of the decade leading up to incorporation in 1912 and 1913. There's a lot of streetscapes and buildings which look a little different than today. There's dirt roads and empty lots and an occasional tree stump because they've recently cleared the land. But there's also some familiar landmarks that you can see today. So as you go up Johnson Road, up that hill on the right, that used to be the Patterson Farm there's a photograph of. And today you can still see the Patterson House up there. You can still see uh, Dr. Morgan's Grand House, which is today the M Salon. Uh, on the south side of town, there's the Carmor Block, which today is still the Carmor Block. It just has different businesses inside of it. And you'll also see a photograph of the Methodist Church, which is uh, across from where City Hall is today, although today we know it as Shars Landing. So it's our city a hundred years ago, and it's a little different looking, but it's also...
Thank you.